So the two ways that you can rear potty calves is either hand feeding them where you become its parent and you feed it twice a day or three times a day depending on the age. The other way is fostering them onto milking cows or any sort of cow that's going to foster a calf. Depending on their temperament, it can be a lot easier because the calf can actually run with the cow and be reared with the cow out in the paddock. A potty calf needs approximately 10% of its weight in milk. So if a calf weighs 30 kilograms, it needs three litres of milk a day. If they're hand reared, they need access to good grassy loosened hay from one week onwards. And the reason behind that is you need to stimulate the room and so when they become weaned, they're actually able to go out and forage in the grass and utilise that pasture effectively. And they also need access to calf pellets or you can make your own brews up consisting of grain and protein meals such as soya bean or copper meal. You really need to be on top of how much roughage they need to eat and how much solid stuff in regards to protein because if they don't get that good start they'll be behind for the rest of their lives. Some of the biggest problems with potty calves is if the calf gets scours it can die very quickly because they get very dehydrated. You need to get them rehydrated with electrolytes before selling them on milk. You should get onto some scour medication pretty quickly. You should isolate the calf to prevent it spreading to other animals. Another issue is a lot of people bucket feed them and when they bucket feed it doesn't stimulate the esophageal groove to work properly. So all the milk goes directly into the room and it's at the abomasum which can cause scouring and lead to pop gutted and stunted calves. The best way that you could do it is using a teat which stimulates the esophageal groove to work. Another major issue is people not giving them a colostrum and not realising the importance of colostrum in the calf process. The colostrum is all the antibodies that they receive from their mother's milk and it'll protect them from diseases and sickness. The facilities and equipment that you need to raise potty calves depends on the situation and what you're doing. If you are putting them on a cow, obviously you need yards to get them sorted out, unless it's a really good cow that will take them out in the paddock. If you're hand rearing them, they require access to good, clean, fresh water, shelter and an area that's dry. You can go to the Future Beef website for more information about rearing potty calves. You would find information on the protein and megajoules of energy that is required. Also, the importance of feeding regimes that you could adopt if you're hand feeding them, or the sort of diseases and medication that you would need to look for if they become sick. If you want to talk to anyone about how to rear potty calves, talk to one of the Future Beef team. Or if there's any dairy farmers in the area, they're very good at rearing calves or also any dairy extension offices.